Whispers in the dark. Astrid has heard Cicero speaking with someone in whispered tones in the chamber of the Night Mother. She fears they're conspiring against the sanctuary and wants me to eave eavesdrop on the conversation. I have to sneak into the chamber and hide in the coffin of the Night Mother. This part is so freaking creepy. Oh my god. Let's go do it. So, this is the Night Mother's coffin, or, uh, chamber. Right here. Oh! Uh, t uh, caution. Do not close the door behind you. Because Cicero comes in after you, and if it's closed, it's gonna glitch out. So... We have to lockpick this shit? What the hell? Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. Ew. You all bony and disgust. Oh shit. Okay, let's go inside. Oh god, that's gross. Oh my god. Isn't this illegal, like in the States? I could be charged for necrophilia. This is gross. Oh my god. Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes. Alone. <laughs> Sweet solitude. No one will hear us. Disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others. I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. I defend you. How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Treachery, defiler, debaser, and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! The Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery, more trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! Wait, she said to tell you, darkness rises when silence dies. She... she said that. 
She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Dude's dancing. Our lady is back. <laughs> she has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> this dude's fucking creepy. By Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrood, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Okay. So, we had to go talk to Nazir. Mr. Prince of Persia himself. He's over here. He's always like, he's just, he doesn't do any. What does this guy do? He doesn't do anything. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer uh, Ash should want me to see you about some not. more work. Whoa, lag. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Okay. Your first target is an orc bard <coughs> named Lurbuk. Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Yay. More contracts. So we have to kill Hearn, who is the vampire, and Lurberk, who is um uh, um an orc. The fuck? <laughs> that guy's just wailing on freaking mannequin? What a beast. Alright, so let's go kill the orc first. Uh, I must kill the bard Lurbu- Lur- Lurbuk? Lurb- I don't even know. Uh, in the town of Morthal, I may use any means of- at my disposal when I'm done, I am to report back to Nazir at the sanctuary and collect my reward. I must travel to Half Moon Mill and kill the vampire Hearn. I may use any means at my disposal- okay. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, let's go kill the orc, and I'll see you guys there.